Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Oman, and today we'll be creating this plot in SolidWorks. Uh, this will be 15th exercise of this uh, series, SolidWorks practice exercise. And uh, you can see here, uh, each appearance, uh, uh, each feature has separate uh, uh, appearance or color. And uh, I will be using this drawing as uh, 15 practice drawing. So uh, let's go to here SolidWorks and uh, let's go to here new and select part and select ok and now we are in solidworks interface so first of all as usual i will change my background to plain white and uh, uh, let's select a uh, uh, top plane for this base and this base is 142 by 21 plus 50 plus 21 which will be 92 so let's go to here uh, solidworks and uh, it's better to uh, close this part and uh, let's go to your top plane select sketch and uh, I will select let's say center rectangle and I will make one rectangle like this. So let's go to a smart dimension and I will make this dimension is 42. I am using MMGS. You can see here you can set your units here. And uh, this dimension is uh, uh, you can see here 21 plus 50 plus 21. So let's write it as it is 21 plus uh, 50. 50 is the pitch plus 21 and select ok so it will be 92 and just rotate uh, this rectangle let's go to your features extruded boss and i will extrude it to uh, 14 millimeters you can see here uh, so i will change this to 14 and select ok uh, now you can see uh, we have uh, four holes here one hole is hidden and you can see here 4 multiply by 18 which means that uh, 18 millimeter hole and uh, the quantity of holes are 4 so let's select this face select a sketch view normal and uh, i will draw one circle here and uh, the dimension is uh, 21 from this side and 21 from this side and uh, the diameter of the sole is 18 so i'll go to a smart dimension and this dimension is 18 you can see uh, it is uh, uh, still underdefined so let's go to a smart dimension select this line select the center point and I will make it as 21 millimeters. Similarly, select this one, select uh, the center point and I will make it 21. Now you can see that this uh, sketch or the color of this sketch is turned into black which means it is fully defined. So let's make one center line here because I will mirror this uh, circle and uh, I'll go to here, mirror entity, select this one, mirror about this line and select OK. Similarly, uh, I will make another center line. I will go to here line 2 and I will connect this center point to this center point. I will go to here mirror entities. I will select this circle. I will select this circle. Mirror about uh, this one and select OK. So I will rotate my model in 3D and uh, now I will go to here features extruded boss and I will extrude it through all. So uh, for uh, uh, circles are cut out and uh, we can use a whole wizard command as well uh, okay so let's go to here uh, drawing and uh, you can see here we have four uh, art and fillets so i'll go to here solidworks i will go to here fillet and by default 10 millimeter fillet is selected uh, constant uh, uh, constant size fillet and I will select this edge and I will select this one and uh, it automatically takes uh, all the similar uh, edges and select ok. So uh, base is done and uh, now I will create this cylinder and uh, this cylinder is 45 in extrusion the outer die is 55 and the inner die is 30 and it is created at the center of this uh, plate ok. So I will choose let's say a right plane select sketch view normal and I will sketch two circles it is a hollow uh, let's say uh, uh, it is a hollow pipe so let's go to a smart dimension and uh, the dimension of the bigger circle is uh, let's say 55 and uh, let's select 55 for the bigger circle and for the uh, inner circle is uh, let's say 30 
uh, select this point hold control check this point and make vertical now you can see that it is still under defined i can drag in this direction so the dimension from uh, let's say uh, this line or this face uh, to this center is 58 millimeters so i'll go to a smart dimension select this one select uh, this one and make it 58 now you can see that it is fully defined so i will rotate my model and uh, you can see here this extrusion is 45 millimeters from the mid plane so i'll go to here features extruded boss and i will extrude it uh, in mid plane and the extrusion is uh, 45 millimeters and select ok now you can see that uh, uh, there are two solid bodies one solid body is this one and one solid body is this one because these bodies are not connected so, so solidworks is treating uh, these two bodies separately okay uh, now we will create two ribs here and the first rib is this one and the second rib is this one uh, uh, i will create this rib uh, and then i will use mirror command and similarly i will create this rib and i will use mirror command for the uh, uh, for this rib uh, which is hidden let's go to here uh, let's say uh, right pane again select the sketch view normal and uh, basically i will uh, be creating this rib and uh, let's select line tool select one line here and uh, the dimension is uh, 22 millimeters now you can see here this dimension is 22 and uh, i will convert this circle because i will be using some part of the circuit in this rib you can see here and uh, now i will be joining this point to this one and the angle is 45 uh, angle is 45 so let's delete this one let's delete this point and let's delete this one and i will drag it somewhere here and i will change this angle to 45 45 is the correct angle which is not defined here uh, but because i have already created this so i knew this angle uh, i will rotate this one a little bit and uh, now i will be joining this uh, rib from uh, here let's make one line here and let's join it to here now i will delete this unnecessary portion so i will go to a trim entity and i will trim this one now you can see this contour and uh, now i can create rib so let's go to your features boss extrude and i will extrude it uh, from the mid plane and this extrusion is 15 millimeters okay so let's change it to 15 and select okay so this rib is created and uh, i haven't used rib feature for this but uh, i will be using uh, rib feature for uh, this one okay so let's mirror this uh, let's go to your features and uh, i'll go to here uh, sorry uh, i'll go to a mirror and uh, for the face or plane uh, in fact we can select uh, this face as well uh, when uh, uh, mirroring any object so select this face and features to mirror is this one and select ok and now you can see that this rib is created uh, next is uh, i will be creating this rib and this rib is different from this rib and uh, there is no step here uh, it is a single line so this will be in the front plane let's check front plane is sketch normal to view and uh, let's exit this sketch and i will be creating this through rip command so select this rip command and uh, i will select this front plane and uh, i'll go to here line tool and i will make one line connecting this point to this point okay and uh, this one is 15 this uh, uh, the width of this strip is 15 and uh, the length is uh, 41 now you can see here the length of this strip uh, let's say this from this edge to this one is 41 so i'll go to your smart dimension and select this one and select this edge and change it to 41 millimeters now you can see that this line is fully defined and i will locate my model okay uh, i will exit this sketch and now you can see the preview of the rib mid plane and uh, this width of this rib is also 15 with no step so i will select this 15 and uh, from the mid uh, both sides and select okay 
and now you can see that this rip is created and it is uh, looking uh, pretty good so uh, now i will use the uh, same uh, command that is called mirror and i'll go to a mirror entities and this time i will be selecting let's say uh, right plane and features to mirror is this rip and select ok so these two ribs are done and uh, lastly i will apply some chamfer to these uh, four holes and to uh, this hole and uh, let's go to here fillet and under fillet drop down i will find this option chamfer and uh, let's change this to one and let's select this one and uh, let's say this one uh, this one and this one also i will select this whole uh, face and select ok now you can see that uh, chamfer uh, command is applied to this body and now i will apply uh, uh, appearance to each uh, of the feature so let's go to here uh, boss extrude and i'll go to here uh, color uh, we can apply appearance from here as well so let's say i will apply uh, this appearance to this block similarly uh, i'll go to here cut extrude and i'll go to here color and i will use let's say this time this blue appearance to this or this black appearance to this uh, hole uh, to all these holes and uh, let's apply some uh, appearance to this fillet and let's say I will apply blue appearance to this flip. Uh, similarly, uh, this boss extrude. Let's go to your uh, color. And let's say I will apply a red appearance to this block. Uh, similarly, to these ribs, let's go to your color again. And this time I will be using uh, green for these ribs. Okay. And uh, for the last two ribs, let's select this one and also uh, hold control for the selection of mirror. And I'll go to here. And I will select, let's say, uh, for the ribs, this one and select OK. Uh, lastly, I will apply some uh, appearance to this chamfer. And let's say I will apply uh, appearance yellow to these chamfers, uh, dark yellow and select OK. Uh, now you can see that uh, we have applied different uh, appearance to uh, this model. And uh, I hope you have learned something new. Uh, so uh, these uh, uh, appearances are applied to uh, all these features and now we can verify this part uh, whether it is uh, correctly modeled or not so let's say i want to check this dimension 27.5 and uh, basically it is uh, from the center of this circle to this face and uh, i can check it let's go to here evaluate select measure and uh, I will select this face and I will select this cylinder and I go to your top view select this and now you can see that this dimension is 27.5 which is correct similarly I can check let's say the depth of this uh, extrude so select measure I will clear uh, these selections select this one and similarly I will select this one and now you can see that this distance is 45 which is correct uh, it is 45 uh, similarly i can check uh, let's say the center to center distance and it is 100 millimeters so let's check it out whether it is correct or not so let's go to here evaluate measure and this time i will be selecting this cylinder and i will be selecting this cylinder now you can see that the center to center distance is 100 millimeters and now you can see here as well the center to center distance is 100 so you can check all these uh, uh, dimensions through uh, this command evaluate it is very helpful and uh, you can check uh, some more things from here as well uh, so that's it for today's tutorial uh, i hope you have learned something new i hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you